Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Vanilungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. Last time, someone asked me why I say we because it's a two people channel, Fanny and Jesse. So, yeah, you can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse. 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy our weekly content we've got a podcast called diving in with funny and jesse and um you don't want to miss out on our conversations you can find us on itunes spotify pod being this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and we have a patreon account you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do we're very very appreciative i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today I'm going to be reacting to what well, Christian got Janna if they follow Jesus and worship Allah only. Dr. Zaki Naik. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Will Christians go to Janna if they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without partners? Follow Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, but do not accept Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as the messenger of God. Regarding a Christian who believes in one God, worship only one God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, but does not believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. To follow the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and not believe in Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not possible at all. It is like saying that I know English well, but I don't know ABCD. Because it is clearly mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of John, chapter number 12, verse number 11 to 14, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I have many things to send to you, but he cannot bear them now. For he, when the spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself, all that here shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Here in this prophecy, Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is talking about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. There are various prophecies in the Old Testament and the New Testament about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So for a person to say that he believes in the Bible or he follows the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and he does not believe in Prophet Muhammad is illogical. The Quran is very clear cut. And the Quran says in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, O children of Israel, I have been sent as the messenger of Allah to you, confirming the scripture that came before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad. Ahmad is the other name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So even the Quran clearly mentioned that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, told to his followers, Yabani Israel, O children of Israel, I give you glad tidings of a messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So for any Christian to go to Jannah, besides believing there is one God, not doing shirk, Besides believing Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he should also believe in the last and final messenger, that is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If he does not believe, then he will not be following the teachings of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and he will not go to Jannah. Hope that answers the question. Very interesting. Um, it's like how the Jews don't believe uh, Jesus was um, a messenger of God. It's like how... Christians think perhaps Muhammad wasn't a messenger of God and it's like how the Muslims believe that Jesus is not the son of God so there's that conflict that's there you believe the Jews believe Jesus existed fine he existed but he just wasn't a messenger of God or the son of God Christians believe Jesus was the son of God and we're going to follow his teachings but we don't believe Muhammad was the last messenger, Jesus was. Just like um, Muslims believe that, yes, Jesus did, did exist, but he's just, and he was a messenger of God, but he's just not the son of God. So, 
I really love the stories of Muhammad. Really, really loved them. Enjoyed watching those and reacting to them. Loved them. Even now, still love them. One of my favorite stories to have ever come across. But I understand why someone would ask that. I believe there is one God. Why should I believe um, Muhammad is a messenger of God? So I think it's possible to actually uh, believe that Jesus is the messenger of God. Let me see what was the... You can actually... I feel like there is a possibility of still going to heaven even if you believe one person wasn't a messenger of God. You're, you're still acknowledging that he lived, yes. But then you just don't want to follow what perhaps he came to say, but you're still going to follow other things that were said perhaps in the Quran. I really understand the question. Otherwise, uh, as usual, there's always someone in the comments saying, um, you're wrong. No, no one is ever wrong when they give their opinion. Dr. Zaki said one thing and I'm saying, I think it's possible. That's my opinion. And I'm also interested in listening to your opinion as well. And anyone out there, Christians, Muslims, Jews, Please comment below and let me know what you think. Do, do Jews actually believe um, Muhammad was a messenger of God? That's one thing I've never asked and I'm curious I'm curious to find out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.